Yo guys, we're gonna get a couple things done today. We're gonna uh, try and make a little uh, end table sort of thing out of a log, and uh, we'll definitely be doing a beer, and uh, we'll see about fire too. <laughs> guys, just working on this uh, stump table I got going on right here. Just putting that together. All it really is is just a cut section of log, and I'm just gonna sand that a little bit and see what happens. It's turning out okay, I guess. Uh, yeah, we're just doing that. Got her loaded up in the truck here, and uh, yeah, we'll deliver that to lovely lady uh, coming up soon here. And uh, yeah, hope she likes it. <laughs> I think I've uh, got an idea. I think we're gonna go for something uh, to snack on right now, and yeah, go from there. It's getting a bit chilly, so we're gonna throw our little Mr. Heater hunting buddy. Just that easy, all you do is push this down, hit the uh, starter button, which has a little battery behind it, so that's nice to have the electric starter. You don't have to use a light or anything like that. But yeah, I think we're gonna count this as fire today. <laughs> Yeah, I can see a little pilot light in there, so that counts. 
and she's gonna heat up nice and red. That'll that'll uh, keep us warm in here. Let's crank her up to high. Got a window open over on that side. And uh, yeah, we're not too worried about the propane thing there. We always have ventilation in here. And uh, it really comes in handy, actually, this thing. You know, it's still nippy outside, so we'll put this on for a couple minutes, and uh, it'll heat it up just toasty inside here. And that lasts pretty long, and I'll actually crank it down to uh, medium or low heat or whatever it is there, and uh, that's just keeps it a beautiful uh, temp in here yeah okay starting to blaze up pretty good and feel the heat feel the heat yeah getting a bit windy out there too so I think that's what's uh, making it still chilly outside but it's okay we'll stay warm Okay guys, today what we got, we got something special, and it's pretty funny actually, you can barely read, my glasses are so dirty, I don't know how I can clean them, uh, what do we got, mm, we'll figure that out, but anyhow, yeah, we got uh, this beer, it's Brio, it's called Brio, see that? And it's from Iceland. That's all I can read before I clean my glasses. <laughs> and it's a Pilsner again. Here we go, right? And there's a whole write-up on it, but I'm going to definitely have to get the windshield wipers working first and uh, go from there. Yeah, looks good. Looks pretty good. <laughs> okay, well, I got my chamois here. I usually use that for other things, but... Hopefully it's not too totally dirty. Let's see. Well, that worked pretty good, actually. Give me that back. Just really need the one to work. <laughs> the other one doesn't work so good. There. Okay. Back in business. Let's read this thing. Uh, Brio is a pale, crisp German-style Pilsner with a noble twist from Bavarian... Holler Tower Mittelfra Hops. Wow, that's a beauty, eh? It's like I was just trying to read this nice and easy. And they throw a whole bunch of German words in there. Okay, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's try this again, actually. Okay, now we've got it. Uh, Brio is a pale, crisp, German-style Pilsner with a noble twist from Bavarian Holler Tower Mitten. Metal fr hops that perfect the unique flavor and mild floral aroma. This Icelandic craft pioneer has received multiple international accolades, including a gold medal at the prestigious World Beer Cup. Yeah, pretty decent product of Iceland. Ooh, she's 4.7, so that's nice and easy then, right? Alrighty. I wonder how you say cheers in Icelandic. Or is that actually their language? Is it not Icelandic language? It would be... Is it Danish still? I don't know. I don't think it is. Or is that their language? Icelandic? So Swedish? Good question. What language do the Icelanders speak? I'm not sure. They should put that on here. Looks pretty good though. Looks good and tastes good actually. This is uh, kind of a weird can though. I don't know why it has our guy on here. Right? And he's got dark hair. What's that all about? I know if I know one thing about Iceland. Is it's tons of blondes. <laughs> but no, we got our guy here. Review bra. Look at this. Check his channel out and you'll see it kind of looks like him. <laughs> yeah, he makes me laugh. It's a funny channel. He uh, does a lot of reviews on uh, food and things like that. And he's been doing it for years. And he's a young lad. 
Yeah, yeah, he looks like uh, he's got it going on. Yeah. Review, bro. Yeah, I'd say try that out. If you can uh, find that, uh, give that a whirl. Brio. B-R-I-O. I'm not reading that again because those friggin' German words really throw me off. I mean, it yeah, kind of pisses me off, actually. What's that one word? Mittelfra. M-I-T-T-E-L-F-R-U with a couple dots on top H. And then the other one is Howler Tower. So Howler Tower and Mittelfru hops are in that. Maybe it's German. Maybe it's, I don't know. No, they don't speak German, that's for sure. <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of this. I think we're at the bottom of this one too. Well, we're gonna give uh, this guy uh, another try. That's for sure. Yeah. Take two. <laughs> yeah, I like the way it cracks actually this one. This one's crisp, got a good sound to it. Doesn't over foam, right? And it's got a really good smell to it. I don't think smells the word. It's got a great aroma. Right? Okay. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to round her off right here, I think, eh? And uh, thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you again soon. One foot in front of the other. You know what to do.